What's up? What do you got there? Uh, just picked up the doors for the XA sedan. Just been over to the dippers and um, over at Ready Strip. So uh, yeah, got these doors all cleaned up beautiful. So just get them over next to the car and I'll worry about what I'll do later. Maybe start fitting them next year. <laughs> <laughs> I just love seeing these panels come back, eh, from the dippers. They come back real nice. Yeah, they just... Nice and clean, bare metal. You can't beat it, you know, like inside it's all clean and... Just bare metal to start working yeah. with. No distortions, nothing. I don't need to go to the gym. <laughs> I just carry panels all day. Is there much repair needs to be done to them ones? Uh, I don't know. It's uh, approximately not okay. <laughs> I specialise in approximations here. It's, uh, just a little bit of Ripley there. There's nothing horrible about them. Just. A couple of them have a few minor rust repairs on the bottom corners, um, but yeah, nothing too nasty. All right, cool. So next step, we'll start doing a bit of a fit up. Should I do a fit up or should I do the rust repairs? I don't know. We'll see. I'll think about that one. Welcome back to the channel and in this episode I'm going to jump onto the XA sedan. It's been a while, it's actually been quite a while, I think it was uh, January or something that we're working on this. Anyway, now that these doors are back from the dippers, uh, I'm going to go ahead and fit them up but probably what I'll do first is I'm going to uh, give, uh, give them a good uh, prep and then get them sealed up in primer and then we'll go ahead and we'll fit them up to the car and see how everything looks. Uh, probably what I'll also do is um, go ahead and sandblast the hinges. Uh, when I was checking the hinges out earlier, um, I found that there's really no play in them. Uh, like say for example on the coupe, I ended up putting like a whole um, refurbishment kit through the hinges, like new pins, uh, bushes and springs. But the hinges on this thing, they're all pretty tight. So I think I'll just leave them and just give them a bit of a, a little blast with the mini blaster and uh, get them primed up at the same time as the doors and then after that we'll just we'll start fitting them up and see how everything looks. Um, obviously we're going to need to do a fair bit of alignment um, and um, we'll have to check out the doors see if there's any rust repairs need doing but uh, anyway that's what we're going to do so we'll hook straight into it. All right so with these XA sedan doors before I uh, get into prepping them and priming them I'm uh, I'm going to take care of some rust repairs, which sadly they all need. So this being the driver's rear, it's okay on the outside. It's pretty good on the outside. Uh, it's all looking pretty good there. Hopefully, hopefully I got lucky with this one. Yeah, just a little hole there to weld up. But all in all, that's a pretty damn good door. Can't complain about that one. So driver's front, gonna have to um, add a patch in that corner there. And then, how are we looking on this? Yeah, so I've got some holes right there which I can probably just um, I can probably just plug them up with the MIG I probably won't need to put a patch or anything in there more trouble than it's worth 
okay that's what you really don't want to do with your with your door is just go ahead and drop it on the skin anyway moving right along so I've got stop moving so I've got this little corner I'm gonna have to uh, patch uh, apart from that that's about it so a couple of little um, spots to plug up there a patch on the outside corner and a patch on this front frame corner then we've got the passenger rear which again it's going to require a patch some of it is already welded a patch in here but it's already rusted out around what they've done so I'm just I'll just redo that um, also I'm going to plug up these holes for the original moldings because I'm not going to have moldings on the car this Oh yeah, this one's pretty nasty. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to have to make up that corner. What else? It all looks fairly solid apart from that. From what I can see. Yeah, so to make up the corner I've got to fix that and plug up these holes. And then moving right along to the drive... Ah, sorry passenger front again plug up the molding holes but this one's going to need a patch on the front corner outside and the back corner hopefully the insides will be there. oh yeah okay so we've got those holes again yeah I don't know see how I go what about the front Again, yeah, we've just got a couple of um, a couple of holes there where the mice have been eating it, and uh, that's about it. So, yes, there is a bit of work, and yeah, I do hate doing rust repairs, but anyway, they're not that bad. They're not as bad as they could be. So, all in all, well worth the effort. So, gonna go ahead and start making up these rust repair panels. I'm not going to um, film the whole process. You guys have probably seen endless rust repair jobs. Um, I might just film part of it and uh, try to get, uh, get these doors all prepped and ready for paint.
All right, so that's the driver's, no, not driver's, unless you're in America. Here's the passenger door, passenger front. And so we've got the patches done at both corners. Yes, I did cheat. I didn't do it properly. I should have made the patches so that they folded around the back. Uh, but, you know, I was taking a shortcut. It's my own car, so, you know, that's my excuse. Um, but the, the reason I did it is I just wanted to retain the look of it, you know, the originality of the, you know, of this, this fold, how the skin's folded over. So by me doing it that way, I've retained all of that and nothing looks any different, so. Um, but it's all good. I mean, the metal on the edges was still um, solid, so it's no problem. Anyway, and so again, on these corners, I cheated. I didn't make patches. I just simply welded up the holes. Um, again, you could say that that's, you know, a crap way of doing it and that's the wrong way of doing it. Each to their own. Again, it's my car and um, I elected to do it that way because there is no more rust. The rust is all gone. It's been treated, it's been melted away by the chemical dipping. And so all I've done is I've just filled those rust holes up with my uh, um, hot, uh, hot metal glue gun and, um, and then plenished it off and as you can see it looks beautiful. So same with, this, same with this back part here. And again the reason I did it because this has got all sorts of wonderful shapes in it and you know you wouldn't even bother replicating that. So I just went ahead and filled it all up uh, with the MIG and then plenished it off and um, that's going to look original as well. So I've also welded up the, um, the body mould um, holes where the clips or bolts or whatever things go in there. And so this door is pretty much ready to prep for a primer now. So I've already sort of prepped all around the bottom, uh, the in the, all around the side of the frame. Um, and uh, yeah, so all I've got to do now is just flip it over, prep the skin, and it'll be ready to prime. But in the meantime, I've just given it a quick wipe down with some um, Easy Foss, so it won't flash rust. And I'm just put it aside, and then I'll carry on with those other doors, and then we'll come back to you once they're done.
guys all right all right yeah <laughs> <laughs> the epic journey of rust repairs and fixing up in of the doors is done so um, they turned out pretty good I mean the uh, considering what they were like before I sent them off for dipping I've got to say I'm pretty surprised at how they how they turned out except for one there's always got to be one but yeah I uh, can't remember which one it was. I think it was the passenger rear, which was, wasn't was a very good door. Um, but we got it fixed up and uh, we'll just uh, get them primed now with the epoxy primer. And probably what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna prime the insides and, and, and the insides of the door, like inside here, and then I'll prime the frames. But I won't prime the outer skin, I don't think, at this stage because of the fact that I think what I'll do is I'll bolt them up to the car and um, you know work with gapping and um, I'm probably going to have to do I'm go probably going to have to use the easy beat a little bit on a couple of them uh, because a couple of them were actually quite dinged up I don't know if it showed in the video but yeah so um, I'll probably do that and then I'll prime the outside of them and then bodywork them so and I've got uh, the hinges and that all sandblasted and ready to go so Let's get into it, we'll get them primed up and um, yeah, we'll carry on. Okay, so we've got these doors all finished, nicely primed, and uh, I guess the next step is uh, fitting them to the car, but that'll be in the next episode. So for now, if you haven't already, please like, share and subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.